Hello Pentaxians. Um, a really short video today. Um, I thought I would show you um, some things that you might already be aware of. Um, online resources that every Pentaxian should know about. Um, not sure how many it's going to be. I think it's about five. Can't remember exactly. But I'd be really interested to know at the end any resources that I've missed that you think other Pentaxians should know about and maybe I'll cover them in another video. Um, let me know about those in the comments below. So we'll pop over to the PC and we'll run you through the sites that I think you need to know about as a Pentax user. I'll put the link to all of the websites that I mentioned on here in the description below. Um, the first one, and one perhaps a lot of people don't necessarily know about, is the MOS Photos Pentax Lenses Explained page. Uh, when I first started shooting Pentax, um, there was so much legacy glass that I found this page to be unbelievably helpful. Um, it explains how the lenses are named within Pentax. So you have section one, the lens coding, the lens series, um, f-stop, the focal length, and what the suffixes mean. And then, at the top of the page here, we have a table which tells you the different series of lenses and a nice, simple tick box exercise that lets you know what is and what isn't available on a single lens. So you can quickly say, of looking at an M series lens, it hasn't got auto aperture, it hasn't got auto focus. An A series lens has got auto aperture but doesn't have auto focus, etc. You can see that the DFAs have quick shift but only some of the DA series have. I think it's a really good and useful reference point. It also explains a bit about the uh, Pentax lenses generally, um, but that is my number one starting point for anybody getting to know the, uh, the whole Pentax ecosystem. Now, another fantastic resource is um, when you're looking at lenses, is the Pentax lenses database put together over on Pentax forums. I'll talk more about Pentax forums shortly, but this particular area of their website, the lens database, is an invaluable resource. If you're cruising eBay or wherever and you're looking at a lens or you see a lens for sale somewhere and you want to know what people think of it, not just your DP reviews, etc., but actual Pentax users, you can come here and you can find virtually any lens ever produced um, with user reviews. It's divided up into Pentax lenses, uh, third-party lens reviews, so that would be Sigma, your Tamron's, etc., um, accessory reviews, and there are camera reviews there as well. But if we just have a quick look at lens reviews, you'll see that we have sectioned out by digital era um, and film era. They use the naming system that we mentioned over on the last website to help you work out what lenses you're looking for and narrow them down. Um, when we look at the third party page, we'll see it's designed up by manufacturers so with Sigma, then we have their current range and their legacy range. So you're not expected to learn all the name and culture for third party lenses. Um, in my time as a Pentax shooter, I have found this is to be an absolutely invaluable resource. Um, and most of the time when somebody comes onto some sort of community that I'm part of and asks, does anybody know about this lens? I'll normally point them to its entry on this uh, particular website. So you see the DFA 50mm, which is the latest lens, already has 26 reviews. There are average scores and people tend to post examples of the images in the uh, review as well. So it's an absolutely fantastic resource. Pentax Forums, though, is a much bigger website. Um, it covers articles, information, news. Um, its news tends to be a bit more reliable than sites like Pentax um, Rumours, which I'm not even going to uh, give the link to um, at this point. You can find it from Google easily enough, and it's a bit of a mishmash of a site. But we also have a marketplace um, where Pentaxians will sell their gear to other Pentaxians, which is a particularly useful resource. Um, I found it to be um, quite North American um, focused. If you look here at the listings, it'll tell you where the location is, which means as a European um, living in the United Kingdom, it's not always the best resource for me, but it is a useful resource um, for any of you on the other side of the water or those willing to um, ship things worldwide and just wait for them to arrive. Um, a 
similar website to Pentax Forums is the Pentax User website. Again, it has a lot of news. Uh, so, right, it doesn't have the same lens database. Um, it's a community site. It tends to be a little bit more um, European focused, though there are plenty of North American, um, Asian members, etc. It's helpfully sponsored by SRR Microsystems, who are the UK's and possibly Europe's biggest Pentax um, dealer. And one of the things that you'll find is when they have deals on um, for Pentax discounts, they will post um, they will post the codes to use at their checkout, like for Black Friday, for example. I should have queued this up in advance in this particular website before they make them public um, via their own advertising and media channels. So it's definitely um, worth being a member of this website and having a look in the forums. Um, they'll often do things as well for registered members, like they will give um, free postage if you um, are shipping um, or discounted shipping in Europe if you uh, simply um, add your username. Um, the other resource um, that I want to mention for um, Pentax shooters is um, Facebook. I'm not sure if it's something about the demographic of um, if Pentaxians um, tend to be a little bit older, people who've been using their cameras since the digital era, but there are a lot of groups, um, all very helpful. I've never found a bad one on um, Facebook. Um, with Pentax users. Um, there is something for every niche. There is something for um, much broader things as well. Um, very camera specific, um, K20D, um, K5, 2S, etc. Uh, there is no shortage of uh, groups on um, Facebook. Um, I'm going to mention a couple of those groups in particular. Um, the main ones, um, the biggest group is the Pentaxians group. Um, with 13,930 members, um, very active, um, generally very helpful. You'll find a lot of the same members in the same group, so this is a very general group um, where you're free to post pretty much anything you want. Um, this group has a rule of no criticism given on images shared unless specifically asked for. Uh, an alternative group or complementary group is the Pentax Cameras group. Um, which again is quite a large group, a bit smaller, 11,603 members at the moment. This group has an opposite policy of, um, unless you say you don't want constructive criticism on your images, then um, all images posted are open to CC feedback. Um, so one might suit your preferred way of being on the internet to another, but um, there's a diverse spread of members. There is a cross population, um, but what I found is, um, the two groups actually do have a slightly diverse um, range of images. Um, there's not a lot of cross-posting going on. Cross-posting is where somebody posts the same thing in every group. Um, you don't see that a lot. You do get a bit of diversity between the two groups. And the third Pentax group that I think is worth a particular mention on Facebook is the Pentax Rico Photography Buy and Sell group, um, of which I am an admin. Um, it's simply a marketplace dedicated to Pentax gear, uh, Pentax accessories, Pentax lenses, Pentax cameras. Um, there's a lot of stuff there. If you're active on Facebook, you'll get to know the individual people via the, um, the main Pentaxian groups. And um, I'm sure that makes selling and buying a little bit easier when it's possibly someone you've talked to in the past. Um, there is also one Facebook page. Obviously, Pentax have their own official page on here, but uh, there is also a page that myself and a couple of um, other Pentaxians run, uh, which is called Pentax Showcase, which basically is somewhere where we try to sell, not sell, sorry, share um, stuff that um, people are doing with Pentax gear. Yeah, it's not necessarily a news site, although there is occasionally bits of news on there. Um, it's more about Here's a Pentax, and this is what he's doing with it. So it's a place to showcase people's work, etc. Um, so it's a relatively popular site. Um, love to see more followers, 479 followers, but um, yeah, a useful resource, I would hope, for um, fellow Pentax users. Couldn't really um, not mention YouTube as far as resources are concerned for um, Pentax fans. Um, the Cameraville was the biggest YouTube channel for 
Pentax specifically for quite a long time, um, with just sort of 5,000 subscribers. Um, was very much dedicated to Pentax stuff. Um, he's moved away from Pentax now um, for financial reasons. Um, although there's still some Pentax stuff appearing on his channel. Um, another channel that's worth a mention is uh, Nails Camp Creative, um, an official Pentax ambassador. Now we've got 5.62, uh, 5,500 subscribers, so more than um, Camerville. A uh, bit of a mixed channel, bit of all sorts. Seems like a very nice, positive guy. Um, I enjoy watching his videos. He doesn't put out a massive amount, um, but I enjoy them when he does. Um, and they are a mixed language. He does have some in... Um, Dutch and some in English. I'm not sure if he's moving the Dutch stuff to another channel. I might have picked that up wrong. Um, next one worth mentioning is Lee Hayes. Um, Lee's channel is um, eclectic. Um, I think that's the right term. He covers a lot of Pentax stuff and it's definitely worth subscribing as a Pentaxian. But he also catch you, teach you how to uh, catch Skipjack at, uh, in Tennessee, as well as some uh, cookery things. Um, he's a good guy who gives honest opinions on the stuff that he's using. Um, never gets too convoluted. Keeps everything as simple as it possibly can be. Very straightforward channel. I would definitely recommend subscribing to anybody who isn't already. Um, up and coming channel, um, Kobe Mercury Clark. Um, like Lee, he's also active in the uh, Pentax community. Um, just a lot of um, short videos, some general opinion pieces, some general tips and things on how to use um, Pentax gear. Um, definitely worth a visit. Um, then we have a relatively new channel um, that I found recently. Um, I shoot Pentax. Um, don't know who's behind the channel. Um, clearly sounds Australian or probably a Kiwi, actually. Um, lots of footage of um, his using the actual, his results from using Pentax gear. Um, so definitely um, work the look. Um, another channel that just popped to mind that's um, just um, popped into my head. It's on my subscriptions list. Snappy Pick. Um, active in the photography community. Um, in the, in the Pentax photography community, I should say, sorry. Um, does well made, um, but quite short videos on um, a lot of vintage gear. Definitely worth checking um, the channel out. Um, grown quickly, 817 subscribers, and I don't think it was that many that long ago. Um, again, a bit like Lee, straightforward stuff, but um, he puts a lot of production value into putting his videos together, I would say. Um, and then we have Matt Bishop, who is active in the uh, Facebook community. Um, Matt's channel doesn't really feature gear that much, but he does shoot with Pentax, um, landscape photographer. So it's probably worth checking out for those of you who are into the landscape stuff. And of course, I have to mention my own channel. Um, trying to put as much content out there as I can. Um, obviously, it's not what I do for a living, um, making videos for YouTube, but... Um, I want to try and give some stuff back to the community and I'm teaching myself um, how to create and edit videos, which is probably why you see an erratic um, style to the videos, because for me, the main journey here is learning how to make videos in different ways. Um, so I hope those resources have um, been useful to you guys. Um, if you found this video useful, then of course, I would appreciate a um, thumbs up or a uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, that's always appreciated. Um, but particularly any resources that you know that you think I've missed, um, stick them in the comment section below. Um, I would be very, very pleased to read them. Um, and perhaps I'll do an updated video sharing them. And I will put links to all of the um, the resources I've shown in this video in the uh, description. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.